Hey everyone, it's Toki and good morning from Seoul. Today we are at Sokchon Lake here in the heart of the city. It's gonna get some walking in this morning before we head over to this incredible grilled eel restaurant. Can't wait. That giant tower in the background is called Botte Tower, the tallest tower in Korea. Seriously, you just have to come here for the views. Hey, there's my husband. He's stretching and waiting for me as I'm filming. Mm -hmm. We got here a little early and I just found like this window where you can peek into where they're grilling the eel. Oh my goodness. All right, and looks like our seats are up the stairs. We just got called for a number. We just made into the restaurant and man, it is so cute in here. I love the vibes. They specialize in grilled eel and these are basically what the bowls look like. The menu is right here. This is like an extra large size and this is kind of like a smaller size. I think we're gonna go with this one today. And I think we're also gonna order the kaisen don as well. So those are on the menu today. Ichogeya. Wow, it just came out. Oh my gosh. And this one is mine. It's the negitoro and sake or salmon bowl. Yes. Okay, you guys, the moment you've been waiting for, the reveal. <gasps> Let's see what this looks like. Oh my freaking gosh. This is the grilled eel bowl. Let's do a close up. Oh my goodness. You can just see the charcoal lining there. It's grilled perfectly. The single bowl has an entire eel in it. This bowl is what they're known for. Literal perfection. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna start off with the miso soup. It's like a nice appetizer. Tell me how it is. So really good awesome and these sides here are accompaniments for the eel bowl they do have instructions on how to eat this this panel right here tells you the steps on how to enjoy this eel bowl but since it's written in korean i will walk you through it step by step oh my gosh get on my belly so the first step is to take the spoon and cut it into fourths so we want to scoop out like a fourth of the eel to just enjoy by itself all right, and we're trying to scoop out uh, only a fourth of the eel bowl into its bowl right here. So, <gasps> run away eel. Don't worry, you guys. I did not let that eel go to waste. It's right here. Okay, so first they said to just try this on the side on its own to make sure that you just understand what the eel tastes like. Okay, I'm going to try my first bite. Looks so good. Mmm. It was so good. And my husband's first bite of the eel. How is it? Isn't that incredible? Seriously blowing my mind. I didn't know it could be this good. All right, and now step two. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take another fourth of the bowl. It's a little liberal with the first one. So this is how much we have for the second one. Oh, snap. I'm gonna put that in the bowl right here. Yep. And then what we do, and I'm gonna add a little bit of rice so we can make sure that the ratio is even. We're gonna take these fixins right here. So this is sesame leaves, this is nori or like seaweed, and this is wasabi and I think some green onions. And we're gonna mix it into this bowl here. Okay, so first some of the perla leaves. Oops, I didn't mean to add all of those. Okay, just gonna do half for now. And then some green onions. And then we're adding some of that grated wasabi. Ooh, okay, cool. Now we're just gonna mix it all up so that we can eat it all together in a bite. And this is what the bite looks like. Looks so good. And I can't wait to try all of these flavors together. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Mmm. Mm. Mmm, mmm, that's heaven, so good. <laughs> so the wasabi gives it a really good kick and it kind of counteracts that savory sweet of the eel. <laughs> and then the perilla leaves gives it this nice bitter undertone. It just complements the eel so well. I can see why this is one of the ways they recommend you try it. And then step three, you're gonna take another fourth. So we're gonna grab this here, wow. Just scoops out so easily. And then you put it into the bowl again. And then you take this right here to make ochazuke, which is like when you pour broth into like rice, fill it up, just enjoy it like that. So even though I lived in Japan for three years, I still never ended up trying this. Sometimes they put tea into it, sometimes they put water. I'm not exactly sure what they serve here, but I'm excited to try it. Mmm. 
That warms the soul. My husband's first okrachatsuke with eel. It's good, right? Whatever liquid we put into it, it's like flavored by the eel. Eel is actually not too sweet. It's like more savory with more of a smoky undertone. Honestly, it's so good. <laughs> That's amazing. And then step number four, we're on the final step, you guys. The fourth way to enjoy this eel is to pick your favorite way out of the first three and then enjoy it towards the end. What was your favorite eel? Was it one, two, or three? Three. Three? Ah, oh, the Ochaske. For me, I think I just really enjoyed the first one where we could just really appreciate the texture of the eel. It's interesting because the texture of the eel is also a little bit chewier than like you would expect. I feel like we're so used to that melt-in-your-mouth eel, but it works perfectly with the marinade that they have on it. And he'll enjoy half of his in the Ochaske method, and I will enjoy mine in the original step one, just with the eel by itself. We'll finish off that eel together, which is super delicious. But in the meantime, let me introduce you to the other bowl we got. This is the Negitoro Salmon Bowl, and it looks like there's some ikura on top. Wow, that is beautiful. It looks like we have a couple of sauces here. I'm not sure what that white sauce is, but I'm going to assume it's tartar for the salmon. And then it comes with this little brush that you could brush on this, like, hot special soy sauce on too. The salmon and negitoro and just all of that good stuff. Get some of the soy sauce mixture onto that paintbrush. And then we're just going to lightly, oh, going to make a little bit of space. Put it on that salmon for that perfect bite. A little bit more and on to that salmon. Oh my gosh, looks amazing. I'm gonna grab the seaweed right here, or the snori, and then I'm going to put some of that salmon on here. Oh, and look, there's like nice like onions, and I'm gonna scoop in for that rice as well. I might have done this in the wrong order, but that's okay, because as long as it gets into my mouth, it's gonna be delicious. Wow, that melts in your mouth. And maybe I'll go ahead and add some ikura to this bite and a little bit of wasabi. Perfect, straight up glistening. Mm. That's so good. This negatoro is so fresh and it just melts into your mouth. Really, really, really good. Taking a bite of the salmon, the sauce on the salmon, oh, it just pairs so perfectly. It's seriously so good. And it just goes so well with that buttery salmon. I would recommend getting both the grilled eel bowl and this negatoro salmon bowl. If you come here, definitely bring your friends so you guys can share and get variety. It's so, so worth it. Didn't get a chance to recap the restaurant because right afterwards we had to run out to church because we were honestly running a little bit late, but we did make it. Just wanted to say, as always, thank you for all of the love and support on my channel. If you can take one thing away from today's video, it would be to go to that eel restaurant if you're here in Korea. It was magnificent, absolutely worth it. Oh, look how cute everything is here. <laughs>